Gospel of Matthew chapters 21 to 28. Uh, Matthew chapter 21. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethmanch, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples. saying unto them, Go on into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied in a colt with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord had need of them, and straightway the, he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek and sitting upon an ass and a colt, and the fowl of an ass. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass and the colt and put on them their clothes. And they set him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strewed them in the way. And the multitude that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and brought, bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. And when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased. And said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus said unto them, Yes, have you ye never read out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, thou hast perfected, perfected praise? And he left them and went out of the city into Bethany, and he lodged there. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered, and when he saw a fig tree in the way he came to it, and found nothing therein but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on the tree thee henceforth forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. And when the 
And when he was come into the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching, and said, By what authority doest thou these things? And who gave thee, thee this authority? And Jesus answered and said unto them, I also will ask you one thing, which if ye tell me, I in likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, whence was the, it, from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from the heaven, he will say unto us, Why did ye not then believe him? But if we shall say of men, we fear the people, for all hold John as a prophet. And they answered Jesus and said, We cannot tell, and he said unto them, Neither tell you by what authority I do these things. But what think ye a certain man had two sons, and he came to the first and the last. came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward he repented and went. And he came to the second and said, Likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir and went not, whether of them twain did the will of his father. They say unto him, The first Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came unto you in the way, the way parable of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him, and ye, when he had seen it, repented not afterward that he might believe him. Here another, there was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it around about and digged a winepress in it and built a tower, and let it out to husbandmen, and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen, that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandmen took his servants, and beat one, and killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent another servant more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But when the husbandmen caught him, saw the son, they said among themselves, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him, and cast him out of the <coughs> vineyard, and slew him. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They said unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? And the same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. 
Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken, but on whomever it shall fall it will grind him to powder. And when the chief priests and the Pharisees had heard this parables, they perceived that he spoke of them. But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude, because they took him for a prophet. The book, Matthew chapter 22. And Jesus answered and spoke unto them again by parables, and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son, and sent forth his servants to call them that were binded to the wedding, and they would not come. Again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are Biden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants, and entered them spitefully, and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies, and destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. Then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not, were not, were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways, and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind them hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Then when the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. And they said out unto him their disciples with the inheritance, saying, Master, we know that thou, thou art true, and teachest the way of God in truth. Neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the person of men. Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But Jesus per perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Show me the tribute money, and they brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, Whose is the this image and superscription? They said unto him, Caesar's. Then said he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. When they had heard these words, they marveled, and left him, and went their way. The same day came to him the Sadducees, which said that there is no re resurrection, and asked him, saying, Master Moses said, If a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife, and raise up seed unto his brother. 
Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, deceased, and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seven, and the last of all the women died also. Therefore in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read what which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at this doctrine. But when the Pharisees had heard that he put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of the dumb, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commander in the law? Jesus said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and the great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye? Of unto them Christ whose son is he they say unto him the son of David he said unto them how then though David in spirit call him Lord saying the Lord said unto my the Lord said unto my Lord sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool if David then call him Lord, how is he his son? And no man was able to answer him a word, neither durst any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. The book of Matthew chapter 23. Then Jesus spoke, then spoke Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples. Saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers, but all their works they shall do for to be seen of men. They make, a, make broad their lactories and enlarge the borders of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms of feasts and the chief seats in the synagogue and greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. 
And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye dumb that are entering to go. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows, houses, and poor apprentices make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Woe unto you, you blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing but whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor, he fools and blind. For whether is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing but Whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon him, he is guilty. He fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift. Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, swear it by it, and by all things thereon. And whoso shall swear by the temple, swear it by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that shall swear by heaven, swear it by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Though blind Pharisee cleanse first what which is written, the cup and the platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto white sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and all of uncleanliness. Even so, ye also outwardly, out wordly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye built the tombs of the prophets and garnished the sepulchres of the righteous. And say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would have not been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves, that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I sent unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues, and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of the righteous Abel unto the blood of Zechariah son of Barachias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, 
How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Chapter 24 And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left there one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye not be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for the witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel, the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso read it, let him understand. When, then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes and woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in these days but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter neither on the sabbath day for then shall be great tribulation such as it was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be and except those days be shortened, there should be no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For whosoever the carcass is, there will be, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not, shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and powers of the heavens shall be shaken. 
And then shall appear the sign of the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven and with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four corn winds of from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves ye know that summer is nigh so likewise ye when ye shall see all these things know that it is near even at the doors verily i say unto you this generation shall not pass until all these things be fulfilled heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away but of that day and hour know it no man know, not angels of heaven, but only my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of the son of man be then shall two be in the field the one shall be taken and the other left two men shall be grinding in the mill and the one shall be taken and the other one left Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Who is his Lord had made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that ye shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayed his coming, and, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunkard, the Lord of the, that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and, he, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The book of Matthew chapter 25. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went for to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, and for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us, and bring and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, 
Lord, Lord, open to us. But as, and he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. For the kingdom of heaven is that a man travailing into a far country, who called his own servants, and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth, and hid his Lord's money. After a long time the Lord of those servants cometh, and reckoned with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents, behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou and good faithful servant. Thou has been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strewed. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strewed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received my own with with Uri. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which had ten talents, for unto every one that had shall be given, and he shall have abundance, but from him that had not shall be taken away, even that which he had. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into utter darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all his holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and he visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee hungry, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave me drink? When saw we thee 
a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee, or when saw weed sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye shall have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them, On the left hand depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee hungry, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as he did it not to one of the least of these, he did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Book of Matthew chapter 26 And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people unto the palace of the high priest who was called Caphasus, and consulate, consulted that they might take Jesus by subtly and kill him. But they said, Not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar among the people. And now when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for as much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she had poured this ointment on the body, my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also th this, that this woman had done. He told for a memorial of her. Then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went into the chief priests and said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they con convanted with him for the thirty pieces of silver. And from the, that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat at the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say unto him, The master said, my time is at hand, and I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceeding sorrowful, and began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, He that dipped his hand with me in the dish, 
the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine, until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Then said Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me. This night, for it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you in Galilee, to Galilee. Peter answered and said unto him, Thought all men <coughs> shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Thought I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee? Likewise also said all the disciples. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding, exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here, and watch with me. And he went a little farther, and fell on his face, and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and said unto Peter, What could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The, ma the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And he went away again the second time, and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, they will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then cometh to his disciples, and said unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of the sinners. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at the hand that do betray me. And while he yet spoke, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with him a great multitude, with swords and stays from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Hold him fast. And forthwith he came to Jesus, and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. And Jesus said unto him, Fried, wherefore art thou come? Then came they, and laid hands on Jesus, and took him. And behold, one of them which were with <clears throat> Jesus stretched out his hand, and drew his sword, and struck a servant of the high priest, and smote off his ear. 
Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled, that thus it must be? In that same hour said Jesus to the multitudes, Are ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves for to take me and sat daily with you, teaching in the temple, and ye laid no hold on me? But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. And they that had laid hold on Jesus led him away to Gephesus, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. But Peter followed him afar off unto the high priest's palace and went in and sat with the servants to see the end. Now the chief priests elders and all the council sought false witness against Jesus to put him to death, but found none. Yes, though many false witnesses came, yet found they none. At the least came two false witnesses and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose and said unto him, Answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witnesses against thee? But Jesus held his peace. And the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by the living God, that thou tell us whether thou be the Son, the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter shall he see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes, saying, He had spoken blasphemy. What further need we have we of witnesses? Behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. What think ye? They answered and said, He is guilty of death. Then did that they spit in his face, and buffeted him and others, smote him with the palms of their hands, saying, Prophecy unto us, though Christ, who is that he that smote thee? Now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, Though also was with Jesus of Galilee, but he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said unto them that were there. This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him, they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou also art one of them, for, they spe for thy speech betrayed thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. The Book of Matthew, Chapter 27 When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself, and brought again and the thirsty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, 
saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See, do to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful for to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood. And they took counsel and bought with them the potter seal to bury strangers in. Wherefore that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, and gave them for the potter sealed as the Lord appointed me. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? And he answered him to never a word, insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. Now at the feast the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will I ye that I release unto you? Barabbas, or Jesus, which is called Christ. For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will ye that I release unto? They said, Barabbas. Pilate said unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They sh all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil had he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person, see ye to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Then released he Barabbas unto them, and when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus unto, into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole brand of soldiers. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed on his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spit upon him, and took the reed, and smote him on the head. And after that they had mocked him, they took the robe off from him, and put his own remnant on him, and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they were come 
onto a place called Colothia, that is to say, a place of a skull. They gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall, and when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there, and set up over his head his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another on the left. And they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads, and saying, Though thou destroyest the temple and buildest in three days, save thyself, if thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise also the chief priests mocking him with the scribes and elders said, He saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now. If, if he will have him, for he said, I am the son of God. The thieves also which were crucified with him, cast the same in his teeth. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land unto the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried a loud voice, saying, Eli, 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 Lama, Sabachthani, which is to say, My God, my God, why had thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there when they heard that said, This man call it for Elijah. And straight away one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, Let it be, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost, and behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake, and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly this was the Son of God. And many women were there, beholding afar off, which followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering unto him among which was Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James and jo Jose, and the mother of Zebedee's children. When, when the even come, there came a rich man of Arimathea named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had had hewn out in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed. And there was M Mary Magdalene, and the other Mary sitting over against the sculpture. Now the next day that followed the day of the preparation, the chief priests and alive Pharisees came together unto Pilate, 
saying, Sir, we remember that that deceiver said while he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Command therefore that the sepulchre be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away and say unto the people he is risen from the dead. So the last error shall be worse than the first. Pilate said unto him, Ye have a watch. Go your way, make it as sure as ye can. So they went and made the sculpture sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. Uh, chapter 28 In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his remnant white as snow. For fear and for fear of him the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, Come see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall he see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sculpture with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met him, met them, saying, All hail! And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said unto them, Be not afraid, go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Now when they were going, behold, some of the watch came into the city and showed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. And when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say, his disciples came by night and stole him away while he slept. And if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen.
much more than you wait I'm there when you breathe out At the end of your day I'm always before you I'm here to defend I'm from the beginning And I have no
must have sung a thousand lines about your faithfulness, O oh Lord. And I must have seen a thousand signs that you were good for every word.
As your words become my truth Oh, I'm holding on to you And as your words become my peace Don't you come and reside in me And I won't forget how far I've come No, I won't neglect the promise you've given Surrendering all my life to your call Surrendering all for your glory Oh, I'm surrendering all And I know the joy of it all Is Jesus Trust you with my life, Lord. I will trust. 
You're the healer of my wounds And joy instead of mourning Teach my heart to follow you My God ever before me Speaking light upon my path Forever here around me Fear won't overwhelm your love And I know you're the king who has called me by name From now till forever when you take me home And Jesus, I will sing your praises Declare them in the valley Shout them on the mountain top, and Jesus, I will sing your praises forevermore. My fight in every battle, my shield and my deed.
Come and 
Dream. 